I received a few questions about how to export from Premiere Pro to a format that works well for YouTube. And I remember when I first started with Premiere, I had a bear of a time trying to figure out the best way to do that. And so let me just quickly run through my process. Hopefully that'll be helpful to you. Not necessarily the best process, but it seems to be working well for me and perhaps it can help you as well. First of all, I select my sequence and ensure that the work area selects the entire portion of things that I want to output. And uh, then I just head on up to File, Export Media. Um, a couple of things. You can set the marker to where you want the preview to show. Now that won't affect YouTube. That'll just be on your local computer, but I usually try to choose something that I can live with. Um, not that it's a huge deal, um, but just FYI. The format that you're going to want is H.264. And then from there, I choose in the preset YouTube widescreen HD. Now, that's pretty much the perfect format for, um, in terms of the best format you can use for YouTube, really optimized for YouTube. I ensure that export video and export audio are checked. Now, you can see that what this is doing, this is actually outputting it in HD, which is 1280 by 720, 24 frames a second, progressive. Um, my source is actually 1920 by 1080, essentially 24 frames per second progressive. So I'm actually shooting in full HD and then it's down converting it to HD. So um, that's part of my process, just, just for comparison's sake with yours. All of these settings down here I leave as is except for audio. And the reason I change the audio is most, uh, well, not most, but many of my programs are about getting the highest quality audio. And so I wanna ensure that we're kind of giving a demonstration of what you can expect um, and, you know, on YouTube by producing the best audio we can. And so there are a couple things in here I'll change. I am almost always shooting my audio at a 48 kilohertz frequency, so I change that. And then I come down here, I leave it at AAC, which is the default for YouTube. And then I change the bit rate, usually to 256. Now, again, once it gets uploaded to YouTube, I'm pretty sure that they're down converting it from there. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure they are. And what I've noticed as well, like if the default here, I think is 64 kilobits, you can see it's estimating the file size for this particular um, show to be 146 megabytes. But when I up that to 256, it hardly changes it. It adds three megabytes, so it's not a huge deal anyway. And from there, I just hit Q and we're on our way. Now, some of the questions that'll bring up the Adobe Media Encoder, and then you just start it from there. But, but one other thing to take in consideration, um, when you're trying to get nice clean output for YouTube, depending on your source format, you may need to do a little sharpening as well. If, um, if you're using a DSLR, at least, if you're using a camcorder, you may not need to do this, but this is one thing you can consider as well. You don't also wanna add so much sharpness that things start to get really crispy and ugly. Um, but I do use the Unsharp Mask, um, which is available down here in the video effects, comes standard with um, Adobe Premiere. I'm in 5.5, I think the same applies to 6 as well, and even several previous versions. Uh, Unsharp Mask, I will typically bump this up to somewhere between 100 and 150, usually about 100, and I'll change the threshold to 5, leave the radius at a default of 1. That just sharpens things up on my footage a little bit. And uh, again, I'm starting with DSLR footage, so that tends to need a little bit more sharpening than most camcorders. And with that, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for checking out the show, and we will talk to you again soon.